good kitten internet. Um, all I've really done at this point, I created the Speedy Darkmoor run, which if you've watched the last video at the in the description has a link to that. And I've uploaded both that and the Speedy Creek Spire run, which I decided to upload, even though I'm not saying anything in it. Um, they're just unlinked. They're not in the playlist or anything like that because there's no reason to. It's not really doing anything that you hadn't already seen. Other than that, this is immediately afterward. I just reloaded the save that I saved at the end. So I've done nothing. I'll end up doing the identifying and so on on camera. Um, I don't think we're going to get too far into Varn, so maybe this might be a short video? Not sure. Let's go ahead and talk to the Oracle. Uh, actually, first, I've been curious about something. Yep, the quests are all still there. So the quests won't disappear until after I click on Control Center. I am Million, Guardian of Enroth. Thank you for replacing my memory modules. Archibald took them from me here when I refused to give him any help in his battle for succession. Your timing's impeccable. The Cregan have invaded our world, and you must try and stop them. Unfortunately, Archibald's attempts at extracting information from me have damaged me enough that I cannot help you directly now. Instead, I can only give you advice. While most of the Cregan have can be slain with ordinary weapons and spells, the elite guards and upper echelon breeders have tougher skin and natural defenses that protect them from anything but very powerful weapons. In the planetary control center beneath me are the weapons and armor you will need to survive the battle with the enemy. My orders, however, will only permit passage to someone with a control cube. My instruments tell me that the only control cube left in Enroth can be found somewhere underground in Dragon Sand. Welcome to the control cube quest. So, our only quest is return, retrieve the control cube from the Tomb of Varn in Dragon Sand and return to the Oracle beneath the High Council. That is actually a typo in there. Varn should be in all caps. So, first thing I'm going to do is fire this guy. Definitely not needed now. Uh, in fact, I'm actually tempted to just not have ID item, but I will, in fact, keep that. Oh, um, actually, no, this, oops, I did not mean to cast Destroy Undead. Uh, let's go ahead and reset everybody's quick spells. Okay, because I'm going to be doing a lot of changes, most likely. So, um, first off, I am going to try to find a scholar again. I really like the ambient music in this game, if you couldn't tell. From me, literally, chanting it. Water master, peasant. You're a spellmaster, right? Yeah. Um, so I also double-checked a couple of interesting things. Um, so I've mentioned before that you can actually stack a banker and a factor together. What you can't, however, do is stack a spellmaster and an acolyte together. Apparently they don't actually stack, which is really weird. Similar things do stack with other abilities, so I'm always wondering about how exactly the... Did I just... Yep, I just fell somehow. Okay. Okay, game, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm always curious as to how the exact mechanics of various games work. And I had not known that. Um, another thing is that I had taken a look to see what happens if you have two Master Healers. So, Master Healer will take 50% of your money. So, two Master Healers should take 100%. And I've always wondered if there's a weird rounding issue with that. Because I've never bothered having two Master Healers. The answer is, no, no, you just have no money ever gained. At least, ever gained from um, teacher, not scholar. Um, never gained from looting things. You still get the items, and you can sell those for money, which is quite possibly worth it, actually, at this point, because I'm going to be getting very little in the way of money from, like, loot, but I'm going to be getting a... But I get plenty of money from actually um, selling stuff. And 
wish I knew the location of a scholar. Like one that's inside of a building so I can just rely on it existing. So I'm going to have to do this. But scholar is one of the ones I don't actually know of a location of. I don't think the scholar's in Dragon's Hand. Missed. Ugh. Maybe I should just check Dragon's Hand anyway, just because. Because this takes a while. You know what? Let's actually check Dragon's Hand really fast. This will tell me really fast whether they're there. Double speed! Zoom! I should slide over slightly. So, here in Abdul's Discount Paradise, there is Hello. every high end NPC. Greetings. Trader, Rockets Master, Pleased to meet you. Banker, Barrister. What's the Barrister do? It's just reputation. Yep, eight point bonus to diplomacy. Great, so it's eight points of uselessness. Those are the traders. How are you? Watermaster and Windmaster. And I believe this one's Gatemaster Spellmaster. Yeah. Hello. And this is merchant and instructor. Instructor's the XP one, right? Yeah. Greetings. And you're Abdul. Okay. So no. There does not, in fact, have a scholar. It's a teacher that's there. Which makes sense. Scholars aren't considered one of the higher up ones, apparently. Which is unfortunate because scholars are right there, apparently. All right, Leland. You're coming with me. Now I can actually identify everything. Okay. So first off, let's look at the likely crap. That's at least enchantable. Uh, the spell books. Armageddon, which everybody knows. Armageddon. Armageddon. And surprise, it's Armageddon. Uh, ring. Belt that's enchantable. It's actually a halfway decent set of armor. That might actually be useful. I'm going to transfer it over to you. The rest of that cell bait. Yeah, you're you're just gonna hold the cell bait for now. Okay. Oops. Cell bait. Enchant bait. I said cell bait. Cell bait. Cell bait. Cell bait. Enchant bait. That might be equip bait. All of this is gonna be sold. Enchant. Sell. Enchant. 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 That might actually be equip. That almost certainly is equip. That's sell. Alright, that's enchant. That's definitely equip. That, I'm gonna go with sell. Enchant. Enchant. We shouldn't actually be taking poison damage anymore in the game, for reference. Uh, there's nothing left in the game that does poison damage. Nothing at all. I guess technically Hydras are still around. But we're not going to be fighting Hydras in any reasonable manner, shall we say? Yeah, again, I'm not going to be hit with poison damage anymore. Increases effect of all light spells. All right. Um, I actually don't need that. Yet another ring of fire. I also double checked um, some artifacts. You can actually stack the artifact ability with a similar ability that's just named the same. So like, for instance, I checked um, the artifact that gives bonuses to each of the elemental magics and then also put on another ring of fire magic and it didn't do anything. So that's cell bait because I have 
Increases effect of mind magic. That's the best. Starburst. Fire blast. Time portal. Yeah, that's cast at basic level. It doesn't do anything. Actually, at this point, we can just reorganize, but I'm just going to move these over so I can better organize this in a moment. Okay, big stuff. Uh, plenty of room uh, all right these are the ones that i might want to redistribute so i believe i have a mirror one already right that was an amulet no it was a ring yep guinevere so i don't need of light magic because she's my only light magic caster so that's cell bait sadly all right bonus to endurance and ac So I read that this technically doesn't do anything, this precious ring of recovery, because I think it, the recovery bit needs to be on the weapon itself. Also, I already have an item of swiftness, so I'm actually dumping that anyway. So I'm going to give you the one that gives hit points. Uh, or I could give the one that's of... Okay, so this isn't needed anymore. This isn't needed anymore. This isn't needed anymore. That's not needed anymore. No wonder you had such a ludicrously high poison resistance. Everything of yours is poison resistance. Um, so I'm just going to create a gap really fast so it's easy to know. That's not gonna help. Um, here I have another one of the golem. I'm gonna make sure that stacks. I'm pretty sure it does, yeah. And it also bumps you up to more hit points, apparently. So that's nice. So poison resistance again, that's gonna be sold. And let's give you even more endurance. That doesn't do anything. Um spell points, spell points, spell points, spell points. Fire resistance. Fire is definitely going to be for the rest of the game. Um, hit points, resistances. So that is going to end up going away. So you can wear that. Or would you be better off with accuracy? No, I'm going to keep speed. Um, that is now yours. Which, while it doesn't affect much, it definitely affects something. Somehow gives you an AC. I didn't think speed increased AC, but okay. Um, it's mostly the spell point increase that was worth it. Okay, got that. Let's start yes. enchanting. Technically, I have two people who can enchant now, so I'm going to do it that way. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's the problem with having two people enchant. My pattern's messed up because my speed order's changed. Damn it! So something I need to remember is that I have one really crappy belt still. 
Like, I can enchant a better belt even. All right, that should be everything. That's obvious spell bait. That no longer fits in your inventory, but we can rearrange that. Sell, 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 sell. Oh yeah, you have no inventory space. Might 11, that belt's not worth it. So her belt's the one that's crap. It's only endurance plus nine. And I assume none of these are actually, uh, nope, nope, that might actually be useful. Uh, although it's not, I know it isn't because I already have better everywhere. So yep, the rest of that's gonna be cell bait. So let's go ahead and TP back to New Serpical. Time is just after closing of the damn magic item shop. Gods damn it. <sighs> you know what? I'm just selling it here. I know I'm getting half the amount of money. I don't care. I've got too much crap in my inventory is the problem. Although that's actually a lot lower than I was hoping it would be. Oh, let's get rid of those first. Sell, sell, sell. I think that's all I can sell, actually. That's sad. Just rearranging a little bit. So if we do it that way, I can that up there. I can go down there. There we go. So much in my inventory. Okay. That's all cell bait. We got that done. Our soul quest. Which is in Dragon Sand. Um, what else do I need to do right now? Um, oh, now I find a scholar directly in front of me. Hey, how's it going? Ah, anyway, so um, my reputation is still saintly. I can level up four times. Definitely not worth doing that. I need it to not be four o'clock, damn it. Okay. What else do I have other than going to Varn at this point? I can go kill things. Um, let's start Varn, I guess. So, Varn is that giant pyramid right there that we've already walked in briefly and didn't do anything because I didn't want to have any of the map explored. Varn is freaking huge. Um, it compares to some Daggerfall dungeons. Not Castle Daggerfall itself, that's just way larger. But the enemies in here are nowhere near as annoying as Castle Daggerfall. They're similar, mind you. Um, Genie type, which is one of the three types, is practically identical to the way Beholders work, except that they're a little more powerful, but they don't have Dispel. Nothing in here has Dispel. That's the important part. So, we've already seen regular genies. Now we have Jin's and Afridi. Yeah, there's an Afridi. They do still do the stupid status effect thing, so you can still get stun locked by them. They still fly. Like I said, they're basically very similar to um, uh, mean to not be in the way. Oops. Yeah, again, 
They can still fly, they can still inflict status effects. They have the same type of attacks, in fact. They're just higher level attacks. But the lack of dispel makes this feasible. So a free D are immune to fire. They're not, however, immune to Ice Bolt. Which is actually the primary spell I used for the rest of the game, I think. <laughs> are they immune to D-Breath? No. No, they are not. That's good to know. Although in this case, I don't need to worry as much about rushing the battles with them. So I'll probably just use D-Breath for the times that... Um... Sorry, this is really loud in my ears. Um, I'll probably use deep breath for the times that I actually need to Oops. keep forgetting quick spells. Um, the times that I actually need or I have like groupings or need to deal with. Oh, you still have enchant item. Let's be. You have 25 hit points. I can just attack you. Okay, Jin are immune to electricity, so fire and lightning should work equivalent. Also, I believe all of these enemies are immune to regular magic. Let's find that out really fast. Yep. I believe everything in this dungeon is immune to regular magic. Basically, everything at this point in the game and beyond is immune to regular magic. So, his spell, his attack spells have all just turned into dark magic only. Honestly, there's only one of you. I'm just gonna melee. Okay. Loot is very random on genies. Most times it's nothing. Sometimes it's completely random item. A vampiric titanic trident. Who likes tridents? I do. I do. Except I don't have the spear skill in this game. Tapestry. With painstaking care, you're able to decipher the message through the higher of the hieroglyphics. Though the crossing of the void, or through the though the crossing of the void be a long and arduous journey, the land you will find at the end will be sweet and unspoiled by ancestors or the enemy. Take heart that your children's children will live in a perfect world free from war, free from famine, and free fr of fear. This would be of, not from. Remember your sacred duty to care for the ship on her long voyage and ensure th her safe arrival in the promised land tend well the guardian and house it securely away from the ship lest both be lost in a single misfortune so now it's time for me to dump some backstory on you varn which stands for um vehicular you know, let me make sure i get this right Varn stands for... Yeah, no, not that. <laughs> um, apparently there's an actual, like... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, organization that uses Varn as the capitals. Varn. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, and that site doesn't actually say. I believe it's like vehicular and research nacelle. Um, so the tomb of Varn is a spaceship. Varn itself is actually the name of the world from Ma Magic 1. So, Enroth was founded by the ancients that came from Varn back in Ma Magic 1, who journeyed across the Holy Void, also known as space, in order to land on this planet and colonize it. So that's basically the backstory of Enroth, is that this was the spaceship that people came from. Also, expect to see lots of fear going on in this dungeon. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Again, this dungeon is huge. I don't intend to finish it, this adventure at all. Or, this save at all. I ex fully expect it to be next one. So the gins are the ones that fall, make people fall asleep. Oh, and we've got guardians. Here's the second enemy type. You rec remember these from 
back in the um, Hall of the Fire Lord. This is actually where they're from. This is the only dungeon in the game that you will find Defenders of Arn. The blue ones are not that hard. They only have 227 hit points. The main thing is that their attacks hurt a lot. And the reason why is that you cannot resist their attacks. It is energy type attack. Also, you should probably wake up your your other uh, your cohort in sorcery. Right? Remember our enemy children and never underestimate the danger they pro they pose. So you must never see uh, though you will never see one during your journey. You must forever be forever vigilant against invasion from the void once the voyage has ended. Mighty beyond words, the enemy is nonetheless vulnerable after a crossing, for their numbers are small and their defenses weak. Use the energy weapons carried on the ship to defeat them, and never ever engage the enemy with lesser weapons, or you will surely perish. Found a crown. All right. Okay. I need to remember, not all of my defenses are actually, or not all of my equipment's actually good. My rings are generally good. Everything else is pretty bad. Well, rings and weapons. Anyway, we will be cleaning out Varn, by the way. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, I was hitting multiple enemies back there. That's why I was doing that. I know there's more over here. Ugh, there's a lot more. It actually makes a lot of sense to melee these types of enemies. As long as I'm indoors, it's fine. It's when I'm, well, you're about to see what I mean and that's where I start having problems with these enemies. So I have a key. Backdoor key. An amulet. Amulet of hit points. My amulets are pretty awesome though, aren't they? Yeah. Um, the amulet, ancient amulet of precision could be replaced with something better. Mm. Same with the claw amulet. But that's about it. The other two have relics or artifacts. Oh. Somebody snuck behind me. You have boots. These boots are made for enchanting. That's enchant bait. Okay. So, we're going to go in condition green a lot here, by the way. This is Varn. Do you see what I mean yet about how large this place is? The pools are very important to know. You'll notice I'm flickering in and out of green and yellow, and there are definitely enemies up here see the other colors of them so purple ones are the sentinels that's the mid-range one the red ones are the high ones those are the guardians guardians of varn are extremely nasty because they are immune to a lot more than you would expect so this is varn i think jins might be resistant to ice no, not really. Never mind. I was just rolling like crap. You're dead. I'm not. So, this is why I have problems with the Jinns. Is that this is huge. Again, this is the largest map in the game. So these pools are cleansing pools. They're very important, and we will start needing this item very shortly. So, there's some enemies up there. And if we want to take a shortcut, which I'm totally going to do briefly at least, I will do this the right way. I'm just going to get rid of these enemies first. You can actually get up here. It's hard to do. You basically need to go from up here 
and then jump. I think you can actually use a regular jump. Yeah, you can do a regular jump. I'm just going to land in here. There we go. So, these guys are nuts. You know why? Because they are the only thing in the game immune to physical spell damage. So, er, wrong spell. This is the spell I need okay. here. Or sorry, not immune to physical spell damage. They're immune to regular, all elements of spell damage. So, for an example, Completely immune to lightning. Completely immune to cold. Oh. Trap metal is basically your spell of choice from now on for melee. Um, mostly because the rest of the cast is kind of immune to most things. This is why Shrap Metal is so awesome. Oh, you broke something. Broke my bow. But that's Percival. So, we no longer have the ability to fire blast our way through or poison sphere or anything. Basically, Shrap Metal is our answer to short range things. Which is why. I made sure I had two Dark Mages. Anyway, I'm not going to go further into there, because this is kind of just a shortcut. Mind you, it's a really nice shortcut, and I really don't know why the creators of the game didn't think that somebody would do that. It's not even hard to do. There's a Sentinel back there. Or a Defender. They're not hard, as I mentioned. So let's wander around a bit, shall we? Yeah, you can see part of this place. So the reason for the cleansing pools is that there's a problem with the reactor inside of Varn, and it leaks radiation. And when it starts leaking radiation, you have to cleanse yourself in order to not take any further damage. It's damage over time. Speaking of damage. So what you're supposed to do is walk around over there. I'm not gonna do that at the moment though. I will be doing that soon. That's what the back door key is for, is so you can enter the back door of Varn. Okay. This is the flame door. You normally need the flame door key to enter. That direction at least. Notice the sheer amount of red things there. There's a lot of enemies in this place, but they're nowhere near as clustered together as many other dungeons. Also, you pretty much, oops. let's go ahead and Divine Intervention. The reason why I'm harping so much on Divine Intervention rather than say, saving spell points or anything, I can slow down your normal speed, is because I can just go to the Fountain of Youth. I have a beacon right next to it. So I'm not at all concerned about aging myself too much. So aging does some stat adjustments, penalties, and bonuses. Until you age enough, then it's all penalties. I'm so glad that I have the speed up feature in this. Okay, genies are immune to ice, right? Right. They are not immune to incinerate, though. Anyway, so, there's lots of holes in the entrance and you can go through it that way. That's how you access the rest of the pyramid, basically. Also, this teleporter here, but I don't remember why that teleporter's there. I really don't. I actually don't remember this part of the dungeon very well. I don't need to speed up. Come on, we need to go. Yeah, this is a quick exit. 
See, it just brings you back to the base of Varn for reasons. How old are you at this point? You're 73. I think I might have to hit the Fountain of Youth. In fact, eh, I'll do that later. All right. Where did this bring me? I gotta love how I'm falling. Okay. Didn't you know that the Egyptian pyramids are all secretly spaceships? Hello, lots of Varn. We're fine. I can fight you really well. The only thing that you do to me that I'm concerned about is breakage. And I can repair stuff. I don't even think you've broken anything yet. Well, I've repaired one thing, but they don't actually break things anywhere near as often as some other creatures. The red ones, on the other hand, break something every hit, I think. Also, you notice how much money these bodies are worth? Pretty great. Black. The entrance to the central pyramid lies to the south. And, hey look, it's an entrance back to regular area. Picture. Yeah, but it's an entrance back to the pyramid area. So now, we're actually behind the pyramid. Also, there's another one of those. These things. I think I can just jump. And open it, yeah. But this just brings you back up here, which is more pyramid area. Again, this place is huge. And all I'm planning on doing tonight is the outer edge. Hello, enemy. See what I mean by they break things a lot? seem to be obsessed with my bows. Anyway, you can see how much I'm bouncing around as to why I constantly need Featherfall. How am I doing on... Oh. Wow, that's really good timing. Hey look, I bet there's enemies in there. It's almost as though I saw them at a weird angle. Ah, who would have guessed? They're Guardians of Arn. You notice I'm chewing through them really easily? These are actually really tough enemies, by the way. Once more, cleansing pool. So, now we're in the back part of Arn. Keep in mind, I'm at the maximum zoom out. This is my normal zoom on the map. So, this is really huge. Huh? Are there were red things there? Oh. So I don't believe this is the back door. Also, there is a large number of enemies down there. Yeah, this is the water temple entrance. Back door is all the way around. So you can actually avoid even going in there entirely just by hugging this wall over here. And you can just not deal with them, I believe. Or do, th or do I barely come in range? I don't remember now. Like maybe that one southmost one? Nope. I'm not in range at all. Yeah. So this is the back door that you can open. However, I'm gonna deal with these guys and then I'll stop for the night. Oh. This particular section is where you can easily get stun locked. So I need to be a little careful. Also, I keep forgetting to cast Torchlight. I'm sorry. So, all I'm going to do is arrow. It's not worth spending magic on this, I think. Because I have to rotate through what spells I use. Although, 
once I get rid of this one straight in front of me, then it might be worth me dragon's breathing, just because then I get rid of a lot more of them faster. Okay. Nope, they're still too far away for Dragon's Breath. Now I bet they're not. Now it's time to get hit constantly. Dragon's Breath. Yeah. The problem is it's in 3D, basically. <laughs> so those up there are not going to get hit by the Dragon's Breath down below. Apparently one of them did. Um, zoom in a bit. So it looks like this might be another good group to hit. Yeah. I can hit with I can hit it with fire there we go oh. blub, 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 blub. oops I forgot to use deep breath um Yep, this is where I start getting stun locked. Just get incinerated, please. Okay. Uh, this over here is a deep breath cluster. Kinda wish I can easily see who has the lowest hit points. Oops, that, yeah, I was gonna target you. Uh, you, deep breath. I must not have done that much damage to some of those. There we go, that's more like it. We're doing a lot better on number of enemies at this point. Again, I'm gonna stop this video after I clear out this corner. All I wanted to do was hit the outer rim. So traditionally, any experience that I gain in this particular dungeon, I end up um, saving for ancient weapons, which you can probably start guessing what ancient weapons are at this point. And your guess is probably correct, that's all I'll say. think yeah I was pretty sure that actually did damage we're gonna switch you to ice bolt there's no reason to waste this much magic after all wow I'm actually using toxic cloud I mean it does a lot of damage don't get me wrong it's just I'm not used to actually using it all right now I'm out of range and they're not. So I'm gonna run up closer and get within range for everybody. Everybody, everybody. And then deep breath, your group. It's not the one I'm trying to target, damn it. Deep breath. Your group. You're the one I'm trying to hit. 
Dang it. Everybody else is on the trick. Okay. Stop trying to hit multiple targets. So what's happening is that they no longer have line of sight with the areas or with the spell effects that are going off. It's kind of dumb. You're dead. Now I can actually focus on you. Die. Thank you. You're just going to get meleeed. Or range attack. Then you're just going to die. There we go. Taken care of. Now let's low loot. Cloak, two handed axe. That's a really weird axe. Cloak's actually halfway decent. How am I doing on cloaks anyway? Uh, two speed cloaks. That's good to know. Another armor. Try to hammer. See what I mean by this is weird stuff. Uh, yeah, you're going to start carrying the enchanted stuff. I don't think they can drop relics. I think that's the one thing they can't touch. But I think pretty much any other item in the game can be made by this. All right. Including antique rings and ah. unenchanted belts oh. and helms. Yep, nope, you're not fitting in there. Staff. Ah. Blech. And another cloak. Oh. Leather cloak of plus 15 precision. Good job, randomizer of the game. All right, and that's it. That's outside. Or outside the inner pyramid, I should say. We can see them up there because of the game glitching. But they're not actually on the outside. Yeah, I can't get them from melee range. Um, yeah. Oops. That was my own attack. Sorry about that. Uh, that's it. We're done with the outside. Entirely. Well, let me just position myself where I need to be. Time in game. I am going to drop a beacon when I'm there. Town portal, heal up, come back. All right. So, beacon, save over this castle, Darkmoor, four, down portal. And yeah, we have finished part one of Varn. Um, part one of four would be my guess. It might be part one of three. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to cram into each video. We will find out. And once more, I forgot to recast spells. So let me just do that now. I'm just recasting all of them. Darn it! Sped up too much. Fly. I'm tired. It's kind of late. It's 22:22 right now, so I will be going to bed shortly after this. And last and definitely not least is Hour of the Power. And then, actually, before I do that, I am going to Lloyd Speak and recall Hermit's Isle, hit the Fountain of Youth, then Lloyd Speak and recall Tomb of Arn. So, she is now Ageless once more.
and apparent level 105 and can level up to 80. So this is what I mean by I just save all the experience or Varn and level up all at once and usually dump all those skill points and agent weapons. Not going to quite do that this time. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah. We're doing Varn. We're pretty much at the end of the game at this point. So, enjoy. See you next time. As I alt-tab into the wrong thing. Good job, me.